Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to read and write the ROM using the hard drive ROM chip pin reader properly. Now this picture is showing how to connect the pin reader to this program properly. Now we can check this hollow arrow here and it has the same direction as the indication on the box here. Next we can check the last we can connect this pin reader to this program now and then we need to after we insert this pin reader to the program and then we can push this down this is a lock to lock this pin reader to the program after that we need to use the pin reader pins this is the pin reader pins and this is the pin one and here is the pin one for the ROM chip because there is one dot on the chip so this is the pin one after that we need to go to the pin reader software and we can see in the lock window uh, it it's showing it's showing now device connected with non-component please wait a moment i need to connect the pin reader pins to the rom chip pins now i need to click f7 to read f7 Now this is the F7, we need to click F8 to verify. Now no error, okay? Read okay and verify no error. And next we can save this file, save file. Save file to the desktop and we can name it as the original original ROM original ROM, okay? after that we can try to write 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 the original ROM to unlock SATA PCB. Original ROM. Import this original ROM and then write to the unlock SATA PCB. Now I need to uh, Put the unlock SATA PCB and connect the ROM chip pin reader to connect to the unlock SATA PCB ROM chip. Please wait a moment. I need to connect the pin reader to the ROM chip. Now I have connected and then I need to click F9 to write now write OK next I can try to install this unlock SATA PCB to the original drive anyway I don't have one uh, drive but I can and collect this PCB only, this unlock SATA PCB only to the DFL SRP firmware repair hardware. And then I go to the DFL WD and power on the PCB.
Now we can see that the PCB gets ready with the original ROM. Select color mode. Now within the DFWD firmware repair program, users can simply read ROM. See, now users can simply access to ROM and also users can write ROM too. So this means users have used the hard drive ROM chip pin reader successfully to read the ROM from the original MCU locked PCB from the original USB PCB and then also use the ROM chip pin reader to write the ROM to the unlocked startup PCB then install the unlocked startup PCB to the original data drive this way users can simply access to the ROM and the firmware arrow and then users can easily fix test and fix the firmware failure and access to the data.